Welcome to another edition of Sledshot.com. My name is Aaron Bernasconi and we're going to work you through uh, something we've been talking about in a lot of our other episodes called counter steering. Uh, we've gotten some feedback from some viewers who are like, yeah, it's great, counter steering helps you side hill, it helps you turn, it helps you do all these things. But what the heck is counter steering? over is just the basic maneuvers of uh, counter steering. We're going to talk about weight transfer, how much throttle to give it, some really beginner techniques to try before you get into a side hill situation or a downhill steering situation. So we're going to try and keep it as basic as possible and make it easy for everybody to understand. So some of the things we're going to be talking about today is how much throttle to give it when you're in a counter steer situation as well as bars, what bar position you should be in and where your weight should be. And weight, I always mean hips, lower body, and uh, generally there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people who tend to lean. And we're gonna actually try and get into the lean maneuvers today. Uh, so first things first, what we're gonna start off with is a nice consistent throttle. We're gonna do like quarter throttle, go nice and slow, get our weight over to one side and do a little bit of counter steering to initiate a turn. This shows us a bunch of different stuff. It means you don't have to crack it to initiate a uh, counter steer. It, uh, it can help in certain, certain situations, but we're gonna go with a nice consistent throttle, get our weight over, a little bit of counter steering, which is turning your skis in the opposite direction that you wanna turn. So we're gonna start with a left-hand turn. So, as you can see, consistent throttle, a little bit of weight with a little bit of counter steer in either direction, gets the machine over on its side, just off axis, and from there it's a balance move to considering where your anchor is, which is the back of your ski. So the back of your ski is going to act like your anchor. The more you turn it, the more you counter steer, the more your weight's going to transfer and you're going to flop over. So try and stay small bits of counter steer to start, 20, 30 degrees off, off center. Lean it slightly, initiate your counter steer, start with that. So some of the different things we've learned so far is counter steering, or with counter steering, is transfer weight, throttle response, and ski direction. So uh, what we're gonna try and do, this is a great location for it, nice and flat. We have a good eight inches of snow, that's fresh. Acts as a little bit of a cushion for our skis. The harder the snow is, the harder it is to counter steer. The softer, the deeper, the easier it is, the funnier, the more fun it is, and uh, makes it a little bit more exciting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in the distance here, we're gonna make a few really nice mellow counter steer turns, and then as we come a little closer to you, we'll show you what you can do with a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more throttle, throttle response. Coming into the turn, we'll give it a little bit more gas, which gets the track spinning and kinda sliding out towards the side. And then as we get closer, a little deeper, we'll show you a few different As you can see, counter steer, definitely not, uh, not easy, but once you get it, it leads into all kinds of different things here. Like you got going through the trees and boondocking, going around trees, initiating turns, not getting in tree wells, getting stuck. It allows you for downhill turns, keeps your momentum in the right direction. You can go around anything you need to going down a hill to avoid 
hitting rocks, hitting trees, whatever. Uh, it makes a field like this a ton of fun. If you're a uh, bad light day and you need something to do and you're too, uh, too dangerous to go up into the alpine, make something like this blast. Uh, as you can see, it takes some time to learn, but uh, I mean, make sure it's part of your day learning this kind of stuff. It uh, will make you a better sledder in the end. It kind of takes you out of that beginner status. Thank you very much for tuning in to another riding tip for Sledshot.com. We'd just like to thank our sponsors, FXR Racing, and of course Sledshot.com for making this happen. Uh, give it a try, have some fun, see you out there.